Next up, final text Sri Taija Chi Lakamari and Krishna Jaya Chandran will present Sign X. Welcome Sri Taija Chi Lakamari and Krishna Jaya Chandran. to financial security is not to have more money, but to have more control over the money we have. Good afternoon. I'm Krishna, and this is my friend Sri Teja. We are from India, and here we are as a part of Fintex to share our application. Fintex is a fintech startup founded by Mr. Raita Hashi, CEO of Fintex, and Mr. Masashi, Managing Director of Fintex. We aim at providing financial solutions for investing money in the best possible way. Having an age of 2.5 years, we have already proved our success in the financial sector. We're rapidly expanding over the top Asian countries like Taiwan and Malaysia. So why India? India, with its high number of working class and heavy inclination to technology, makes it one of the prime spots to invest on. Currently, India has a population as big as 1.285 billion people out of which 300 million people are smartphone users. So just to give you an insight of how huge this figure is, it's almost 2.5 times the entire population of Japan. Now coming to finance management, a typical finance management application would be completely useful to the customers only if it satisfies the following two conditions. One, it should be able to make sure that the customer knows where his every single penny flows into, Two, it should provide him with all the necessary inputs required for being able to invest with confidence his financial assets and gain the maximum profit. So even though popular finance managing applications do exist, they kind of focus on the documentation part, leaving out the providing of inputs part unexplored. The key requirement of an application is hence to provide functionality along with some intelligence. As you may see from the graph, the applications like My Universe and Perfoys focus on functionality but lack in smart design. Other applications like Volley and Moneyfy, on the other hand, has design features but poor functionality. So till date, there is no such application that has managed to strike a balance between both these parameters. This is a pie chart showing the current scenario of the estimate of number of active users of these applications. So given the number of smartphone users, which is 300 million people, it is safe to say that this sector is still amateur since there are no good players in the market to utilize its full potential. Hence, the real need of an earning person is to get the real-time information about his savings, investments, and expenses so that he can not only watch his spending patterns, but also plan his money to make the best out of the investment sector. Hence, here we are addressing this necessity through our application which integrates savings, investments, and expenses, providing an all-in-one solution to this financing need, Sinex. OK, so now let's explore each module one by one. I would like to start off with expenses. Expenses are categorized into two parts, cash-based and cashless. So let's start off with cash-based transactions. All the existing applications do this by asking user to enter everything manually, but we give an option to upload a bill which can be used for future reference. So with some other details, like the category and date, user can enter his transaction successfully. Now, let's see the card-based transactions. Here are my cards, which are live cards from India. You can see my credit card as well as debit card and the available balance in it. So how can I check my transactions? There is a page called Transactions where you can view all your transactions for the last 90 days. You can see your card transactions, you can see your cash-based transactions, you can see the amount you spent and category on which the amount has been spent and the merchant to which the transaction has been made. So now let's move on to the second module, it's investments. We believe investments play an important role in letting user know his financial status. So here I have added my stocks, I can track them in real time and with one tap I can see the current as well as historical performance of my stock. Now, we'd like to discuss about the third module. It's a savings. We achieve this by budgeting and documenting. So here you can see a, my page where my budget, my expenses, and available balance are shown. I have set my budget as 200,000 rupees per month. And you can see my balance available for the month. I'm left with 58% of my balance. 
So uh, when I scroll down, I can see my daily necessities and all the other categories on which I've spent the money on and detailed breakdown of how much I have spent on each category. I can see a neat pie chart representing each and every detail of it. When I scroll down, I can see my top three recent transactions with amount and the merchant name and neatly represented. Now, we'd like to talk about one more thing and it's daily feeds. It's like a daily newspaper where information about the companies you're in interested in and you want to invest in will be showing up. You can see an article, you can open it and in a browser right in your app. So I'd like to discuss about some of the features. Security, we take security very seriously. So we're not going to upload anything without user permission. So everything, once user accepts, they will be uploaded in the third uh, database or something like that. Now, we like to give notifications whenever you have to pay your bills or dues. And we also take care of reward accounts as well as loan accounts. And one more thing is monthly goals and challenges. We want user to spend his money very efficiently. And we want user to be motivated and challenged to reach his target. So we have uh, added personalized goals and challenges for him. And we have a smart design. We do believe that smart design plays an important role in getting user interested in using an application. So we have the optimized UI and UX. We cover up to 80% of the banks. So we believe that Cynix has got a wide scope of expanding and making a mark in advanced financing. We are on our way to add the following. One, sharing of accounts within the family. This feature is widely desired by the users of existing finance applications. So sharing of accounts, make sure that all the members within the family, right from parents to children, are on the same page when it comes to finances. Two, connecting with friends and acquaintances. This is when you want to have an account for the common expenses, say with a friends or roommate for a brief period of time. So coming to business, since Sinex is about financing and budgeting, we see banks as our ideal business partners. Also, the database created in Sinex can serve as potential data sets for investing firms and other financial institutions, thus creating a strong source for monetization. As we can see in today's world, there are a lot of options to spend our money. We can buy a product, avail a service, invest it, or save it for the future use. So what matters at the end is how efficiently we do this. So a good app should ensure a safe space where one can record, retrieve, be updated, and know our possibilities. And Cynix does exactly that. Thank you.